Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. And with Blueberry, the community that gives creators the power to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get a 30-day free trial by using promo code BLUEBERRY004. So ne- next up is uh, Dr. Stephen C. Phillips, founder and CEO of Spy Derricks. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Yeah, it's a tricky one. It's uh, Spider Risk. Spider Risk. Yeah, so it, it means a lot of things. We're, we're doing risk assessments of enterprise IT systems. So that's the risk bit. Uh, but we create models that are a bit like a spider web. So that's, so that's the rest of the name. So get in some details here in the nitty gritty so our audience understands. Is it is it a service available today or something that you're working on? or? Uh, we're just launching today. We're looking for early adopters. It's, uh, it's a software as a service product. Um, so uh, we're pretty much there with it. Uh, you can supply it online uh, to customers so that they can do uh, an automated risk assessment of their IT systems. Uh, it finds all the problems, uh, tells you how to control for them, how to mitigate them, uh, does a really good risk assessment so you know where the really key issues are that you've got to address and then outputs reports uh, that you need for your board, for your tech people, for your compliance audit. So does it even go into doing like uh, testing of code for like you're looking at your website and does penetration testing and that kind of stuff or are we talking more about internal controls? So it's, uh, it's not at the level of penetration testing. So what we do is we're examining the whole system and telling you, for instance, that, uh, well, you've got a vulnerable uh, piece of software there, and to control that vulnerability, you might want to do penetration testing. Okay. So uh, you could then tick the box saying, yeah, I'm going to do penetration testing, and then it will bring the risk level down of some of the threats that are pointed at that asset. So um, we're not doing the penetration testing. We're not doing the firewall sure, rules, sure, we're sure. not putting the passwords in, we're telling you where you need the different controls uh, so that you can make your system more secure. Now, I, you know, I run a small company, uh, have about 20 employees, mm-hmm. and uh, the majority of them are in Columbus, Ohio, but I have remote employees, and we don't have a real super tight, uh, you know, password controls and that kind of stuff, but we do on our server base, you know, have some extensive um, you know, basically, we're really tight on that to make sure we're not going to be penetrated. Of course, we're dealing with uh, not, not anything that has to do with HIPAA or anything like that, but we have mm-hmm. credit card information and that okay. kind of stuff, right? So how do you apply that then? Or how would a small company like mine use your tool or your service to, to see where my risk is? Okay. So generally, we're targeting either larger companies that already have an IT system sure. with some cybersecurity expertise embedded, okay. or we're targeting cybersecurity consultancies that could then use the tool when you're employing them I see. to uh, to help do that assessment. So uh, I don't believe we're ever going to be able to make a product that is simple enough for, for, sim- for yeah. a small business that just can't afford that expertise right. in-house. Um, but what we do is make it much faster and much better for those people that already have that expertise. Because you know, if you go to one consultancy, they'll tell you one thing. If you go to another, they'll tell you something else. Uh, you know, just human fallibility. You know, right. uh, with these complex interconnected systems, you can't always work out everything that's going on uh, in your head, or maybe on a whiteboard or right. in a spreadsheet. Yep. You know, you need a piece of software to do that for you and do it exactly the same and, every time. And step yeah? through the process that exactly. you're, and set yeah, up the yeah. controls that you want to have for the testing process. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a, it's a massive issue. Uh, when I came over from Heathrow uh, a few days ago for the beginning of CES, I went to get some dollars out at the airport from Travelex. Right. Couldn't get it out. That's right, because they're, they're they've systems, been hacked. <laughs> exactly, they're held to ransom. You know, they've got to pay up $6 million to get their data back. Is that, uh, what the, is that what the Bitcoin ransom is at right now for them? $8 million, I think. <laughs> or is it okay. six, $6 million? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I think it's going to double in a couple of days' time or something. So, you know, the, these are massive problems, for, sure. especially for, for large 
uh, businesses. And you look at municipalities that have got hit here in the United States over the past year and had to f- fork up cash. I think a couple yeah, of yeah. them have forked up cash. Some were said no and had their data wiped and then had to recover from backup. And if their backups actually work, yeah. the key is if they work. Exactly, exactly. Because, yeah. you know, you, you do all these great backups, and do you really ever test to make sure the backups were... That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, so, I mean, one of the controls we might propose is making sure you do have backups in the right places. Um, but what, in, what companies, uh, especially the larger ones, are increasingly doing is uh, to show to their customers and to their supply chains that they're doing a good job on their cybersecurity. Right. They're getting things like SOC 2 compliance or ISO 27001. And that's where spider risk comes in because getting that audit done requires a lot of documentation, describing the state of your system, where the threats are, what right. you're doing about it. And we've got all that data inside our model. So we just output it in the right format for the different compliance audits. Uh, and then you save yourself a lot of time there. Sounds like Equifax could have used your help a couple of years ago. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you know, uh, you never quite can tell. Uh, but yeah, exactly. There's so many cases. Aren't That's there, right. Where, it's every. Where, it's where in the, the news every happen. day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah, it's a massive problem. Yeah. And the uh, the more tools, the more automation we can use to help fix this. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be good for the whole global economy, hasn't it? Because we're human, and as much as IT folks and work real hard to keep things locked down we do make mistakes absolutely yeah. you know and it's not intentional it's like oops yeah. but those oops can be multi-million client yeah, yeah. exposures passwords uh, phone numbers banking information it can be huge so yeah i mean in europe we got gdpr now which means That's that right. uh, a company can be fined four percent of their revenue yeah. Uh, yeah. for a, for a data breach yeah my company That's spent uh, six months getting ready and we applied uh, GDPR across our entire enterprise, mm-hmm. even though we're in the United States. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're dealing with anyone in the U- yeah, Euro- right. European Union, so we just applied it globally, and that was a huge yeah. undertaking. To, to yeah. you know, and we actually learned something about our systems. They said, "Oh, wow, we didn't have vulnerabilities, but it was just like what would have happened if yeah. this data would have gotten out before it had been anonymized." Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, there's a lot right. to take care of, and uh, you got to use automation. You got to use spider risk. Yep. All right. So the website is it. It's S-P-Y-D-E-R risk dot yeah. com? Yeah, S-P-Y-D-E-R-I-S-K dot com. Outstanding. Thank you so much, Dr. Stevens, for Dr. Phillips for being on. And good luck with your launch and uh, everything you're doing. They have a great show here at CES. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, thank you. Thank you.